I'm Serdar Özkan. I'm a research officer at the Federal Reserve Bank of San Luis. On average, the richest 0.1% of households tend to have a large amount of wealth at the beginning of their working lives. In other words, the wealthy is often start out that way. They also tend to invest heavily in equity, in particular private businesses, from a young age, and in turn earn higher returns. Finally, they also save a large share of their income from work and investment. We arrived at these observations using data from Norway. Our analysis identified the richest 0.1% of households in that country in 2015, when they were 50 to 54 years old. We then traced how their wealth evolved from the beginning of the sample period in 1993, when these households were in their late 20s. Our research also offers some insights into how the richest 0.1% of households got that way. For example, we can look at how the 50-year-old top 0.1% of wealth owners accumulated their wealth and compare it to median wealth households. Specifically, we can break down their fortunes over their working lives and determine how much of the wealth gap between top and median wealth owners is due to differences in initial wealth, inheritances, income from work, investment returns, and saving rates. We found that higher initial wealth in their mid-20s higher saving rates, and higher returns on investment accounted for, in about equal terms, most of the wealth gap by around age 50. We also found that the relative importance of initial wealth in explaining the wealth gap declined as households got older, while higher saving rates and investment returns became more important. This makes sense. You would expect your income to rise, and thus the amount you can save over the course of a career, and hopefully investments to grow over time. Exploring this topic is important because the concentration of wealth is increasingly at the center of public discourse. For instance, whether or not the government should tax wealth is an area of active debate. At the end of the day, our research finds that initial wealth and saving rates remain important for explaining the top 0.1% overall wealth. Higher income from work and larger returns on wealth, often considered the primary sources of wealth inequality, accounted for only a third of the wealth gap between the richest 0.1% and median households. Having said that, not everyone in the top wealth group started out rich. We call those who had little wealth in their 20s and who succeeded in joining the wealthy 0.1% by their 50s the new money, and we investigate them separately.